Well, wouldn't you know, it's Saturday once again. What's good, Internet? My name is Attax. Welcome back to my 2K16 Let's Play, my career, Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4 fighting Damien Mizdow here on SmackDown as we head into Fastlane and eventually get to rank 3 and can then challenge the face who runs the place, John Cena. Now, the past couple of days have been pretty short in terms of wrestling news and so therefore this video uh, might not be all that long just kind of planning on having this one match here and seeing if that what seeing if that increases my rank and or you know anything uh, it might it might not but not too much going on so you know not too much to sit here and pontificate on um, you know the drill. But, they have now officially confirmed through the Twitter machine, as Taz calls it, uh, that we're going to have John Cena and AJ Styles at Money in the Bank. Which, obviously, that's the direction you're going in. Why you'd announce that and officially confirm that on Twitter, I have no idea. But, you know, it's 2016. Shit's all brand new now. Social media. It's the new era. So I guess you announce things on social media these days. I don't fucking know. It's wrestling. I'm not going to look into it too deeply, but yes, that... How did that not go out of the ring? That looked like it was going to go out of the ring and it didn't. That's really weird. Um, so, I don't know. Um, all I know is that I expect, certainly, uh, great things from that match. Um, I think it should certainly... Uh, exceed expectations as long as John Cena is going to bring his A-game, it should be a hell of a thing. And I'm looking forward to it. But, I am not looking forward to, you know, the the eventual end of that feud, only because, you know, the, the eventual end of any John Cena feud ends up with John Cena on top, because he's John Cena. Um, but hey, Big Match John, as JBL says, certainly has the ability to, you know, uh, have some amazing matches so on that perspective I mean, that you know quite possibly could be the match of the night the match of the month you know i'm not gonna say it's match of the year candidate just yet because we've had some pretty good matches this year but hey uh it is entirely possible for john cena to put on a match of the year candidate um as i just sit here and dominate uh Ms. Dow, as it were i'm gonna give, give him the old you can't see me and then give him the old attitude, attitudinal adjustment. The dreaded AA, or, you know, the FU, as it was previously known. And nope, you still can't see me, Ms. Dow. You still... Oh, he moved. I can't believe you no-sold that. I can't believe you no-sold that. How about a charged Ebenezer? Even though I know it won't put him away. Because as a reminder, we are still playing on hard. That is still where we are at these days. Boom. So, one finisher usually not enough to put away your opponent. Yep. That's okay. I'd like to ideally put him through a damn table, but that's been not going so great lately. So, you know, I've been having issues getting that to work properly. And Sanda with eyes in the back of his head. Um, otherwise, I kind of did want to just, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, people have been saying to me so much that I should totally watch the Matt and Jeff Hardy contract signing in TNA, because it's fucking, it was just crazy, so I watched it, and they're right, it's just crazy. Like, what in the actual fuck, I don't think I've seen anything in wrestling that just, you know... It was, it was like a bad movie, where it's kind of so bad it's good, but it was it was certainly something. As, as someone who has not watched TNA in quite some time, it was certainly something. So if you haven't seen it, uh, there is a... There is a director's cut of it. It's like, like five and a half minutes. Definitely take the time, the time to watch that, because it, it is just... Like, I don't even know. I can't even sp speculate why 
most of those uh, decisions got made, but it was definitely something. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Those guys are just nuts. But perhaps they're in a position where they, they, don't, they don't think that TNA is going to survive much longer. So the amount of fucks they give is pretty small. Which, you know, at that point is understandable. Just, you know, let's just fucking do whatever, because we're not going to be around here much, 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 much fucking longer, so... It's cool. Really? Really? The swinging ne neckbreaker through the ropes? The reverse Randy Orton, if you will? Nope. Look, Sandow. We're going to do this shit. We're going to have this table spot. Whether you like it or not. It's going to happen. I have no stamina left. No stamina. A fucking waste. I would like some stamina back, if you will. Great, now I'm back in the ring. No, I'm not back in the ring. But I still, I, I have no stamina, so... Either way... Sure. I'm just gonna stand here and just regain stamina, because I, I have none. I have none. Hey, Sandow, yeah, get up here. Get all up here, Sandow. Get all up next to me and see what happens. You get attitude adjusted for your troubles. And then I pin you. Because I don't care anymore. Ha ha. Sucks to be you. Well then, uh, as we are currently not feuding with anybody, then, you know, nothing should happen there. And theoretically, I will perhaps gain a rank, or, you know, in the next match, gain a rank, because I've been told it is two matches, uh, two wins, to gain a rank. And certainly, since Mizdow is a higher ranking guy than I am, that should certainly help things along, I would hope. Alright, let's see what that does. Does my rank go up, or does it just go on to the next show, which is Superstars, uh... And yes, Brock Lesnar would totally decimate Sami Zayn. Come on now. That's just not even... First of all, why is Brock Lesnar working SmackDown? I mean, you know, at some point, you know, he might because it'll be a live show, but Brock, he doesn't work like the, the shows. He doesn't... Wait a minute. Wait just a fucking minute. Why am I fighting John Cena? Why am I fighting John Cena on Superstars? Man, okay, so that means... Tomorrow. See, I just beat Miz out. I should be uh, rank three. Tomorrow. This is the plan. As previously discussed here on this channel, the plan is whenever I fight John Cena, I should, let's actually go do it now so I don't forget. Um, whenever I fight John Cena, because he is John Cena, we're going to go into options here and we're going to put it on Legend. Yes. So. That means tomorrow, fighting John Cena, it is going to be on Legend. And every time I fight John Cena, it will be Legend. Because he is John Cena, it's going to make it just that much more difficult to complete. And perhaps more compelling content here on this show. So that being said, I am a tax slug. Look forward to tomorrow, Sunday, fighting John Cena on Superstars, but until then, and until next time, and as always, more videos every day, tune in, I'm Attack Slug, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel, hit him out!